Hi everyone, I thought it was about time that I did a new video and considering it's summer and it's really lovely weather I thought that I should probably do a video on fly strike. Now fly strike is a bit of a gross topic and it might upset some people but I think that it's really really important to know about if you own any animals. So fly strike or myasis can happen to any animal but it's frequently seen at vet practices in animals like rabbits and guinea pigs. It can occur at any time of year but like I said it's much more prevalent in summer months when it's warmer and there are more flies around. Fly strike is caused by flies laying their eggs on an animal usually around their bum. These eggs hatch really really quickly and the maggots chew their way into the animal's skin and to give you an example of how quickly this can happen within a 24 hour period a rabbit can go from being completely stable into a fatal state of shock due to the infestation. So the problem is that the maggots don't stop at the skin. Once they've got through the external debris, any poo or anything, they then move onto the flesh and then they burrow their way in. And when they're there, they're, they actually produce toxins, which will create a state of shock. So the Rabbit Welfare Association says that it only takes a few hours from the flies laying the eggs to the maggots actually hatching and eating into a rabbit's flesh and once they're established in the flesh a huge amount of damage can be done from which many many animals don't recover. I was speaking to my vet when um, I went in with Shindig recently for a checkup, and she said she had seen three that week and actually all three were too far gone and they had to be put to sleep because basically they, they didn't get them there soon enough. So often the flies will lay around the back end uh, and this can be easily missed by owners so it's really really important to check your animal's bums as part of their daily check. So at the Rabbit Welfare Association and any guinea pig trust all recommend checking them at least once daily during the winter and twice daily in the warmer weather when they're more at risk. So it doesn't take a second and it really it will help you catch these issues sooner so then you can get them checked out. So there are some risk factors. Animals like I say are more at risk in the warm weather um, but also animals who are aging, disabled or overweight because they might not be grooming quite as well as they normally would so this would put them more at risk. Fly strike doesn't always mean poor care so please don't think that it's only neglected animals that end up with fly strike often animals who end up with fly strike are very very well cared for it can just be a temporary lapse of concentration and like I mentioned earlier it can happen so quickly um, my vet actually the ones that she was speaking about were when the owners went on holiday because pet sitters might not be as vigilant and probably won't pick up on behavioral changes as well because you know your pet best so you're going to be the best person to pick up on these changes so if you are going on holiday, make sure your pet sitter is making those daily checks as well. So animals are also more vulnerable if they have urinary issues or loose stools. Um, animals with these issues will obviously need to see the vet to talk about how to best manage it. But also they will need their bum cleaned frequently with warm water. And please make sure you use a shampoo that's tailored specifically for that animal so it doesn't damage their skin and then you'll need to dry them really really thoroughly. Um, don't put them back in their home with a wet bum because moisture as well as the warmth and odour will attract flies. Flies are also attracted to sores so if they've got any pressure sores or anything flies can use these as incubation areas to lay their eggs which is really really horrible so please make sure you're checking that as well if your animal has any wounds or sores. So animals housed outside are more at risk than animals inside but house pets are not immune because it only takes one fly. So a lot of people sort of think that that animal's fine because they're inside, this doesn't apply to them whereas it does and it's still so important to know about it. So symptoms, you need to be looking out for any changes in behaviour. If they're really lethargic it could indicate that they've gone into shock or any signs of discomfort which would obviously if you've got maggots in your bum that's not going to be comfortable. Um, it's also been reported that some rabbits have itchy skin seizures. Um, basically they've got nerve sensors on the surface of the body and 
all those maggots and flies can trigger a nerve reaction which results in a seizure um, but most importantly you just need to be checking their bum twice daily just to make sure that there's nothing there and that they've got a clean healthy bum that's not going to attract any flies so what do you do if you think your animal does have fly strike now I feel like fly strike is downplayed a lot it is an absolute emergency you need to take them to the vets right away day or night you can't wait until it's convenient to take them to the vets because it could be the difference between them dying so I mean you can try and pick off any maggots with tweezers to try and make them more comfortable but you know that shouldn't delay taking them to the vets um, a lot of people wash the affected area as well whereas this can make them feel more comfortable but it can also make it more difficult for the vet because the vet will probably need to shave their bum and wet fur will clog up the clippers so it's probably best to just leave the treatment to the vets and just get them there as soon as you can spend that time on the way to the vets so fly strike is often fatal but if it's found and treated really quickly by a skilled vet they can make a full recovery the animal will probably be in a lot of discomfort and potentially severe shock so like I said don't delay get them there as soon as you possibly can so the key thing with fly strike is prevention you don't want it to get to the point where there's maggots in their bottom because that's just so horrible um, you really want to prevent it there's lots of things you can do I wouldn't recommend using a chemical bug killer because these don't only hurt flies they can also be dangerous to your pets to you um, to your family you don't really want those chemicals around your house um, you can always use fly traps like those fly paper which you can hang from the ceiling so that can help to catch some flies and will help to prevent it but like I said it only takes one fly and these traps can't catch every single one you can also minimize the amount of flies that your pets come in contact with by putting any screens on doors and windows so that will help the amount of flies that get into the house or if they're in a shed you can put a screen on the window uh, but some will still slip through again don't dip your animals back end in water like I said earlier this can attract flies just spot clean any soiled fur and dry really thoroughly I would also recommend keeping your animals hair really short around the back end I've especially done this with Lily my guinea pig who's really long haired I keep her hair very short in the summer not only so it's cooler for her but also it's just more hygienic there's less likely to get gross around her back end and attract flies if your animal does have any urinary or faecal issues you can always ask your vet on how you can best clean the area and prevent as much risk as possible and also to manage those issues so check your animals eating a healthy diet as well with rabbits and guinea pigs this is really high fiber to prevent loose stools that can get stuck around the back end and attract flies so for rabbits and guinea pigs you want lots and lots and lots of hay and grass really high fiber healthy foods for them in regards to their housing you want to remove any soil bedding daily and disinfect weekly just to minimize the odor and the lovely breeding gap grounds for flies you want to use a good quality absorbent bedding to reduce odor again and keep their housing clean and dry you want to check their butts like i said earlier and you want to use your fly paper your traps there is also some plants that you can buy which naturally repel flies but just make sure these are kept out of the way of your pets so these include chamomile lavender hemp rosemary peppermint basil green oregano so either you can grow these around the bunny shed or the hutch or in your home or you can dry it and hang it up in the bunny shed or in your home again um, so there are lots of ways that you can minimize the risk you can also ask your vet about preventative products like rear guard which is a product that you spray on their butt and it prevents fly strike in rabbits for up to 10 weeks so that's always something to look into so you can always talk to your vet about that and the best way to reduce risk for you overall you can only reduce the risk and you can't prevent it completely so it's really really important to keep an eye on your pets throughout the day look out for symptoms and act really quickly if you think there's anything wrong we can't eliminate flies from the environment even if they're indoors 
please remember that haggis animals are still at risk so you really need to know what to look for and keep those bums safe so this can affect any animal cats dogs sheep rabbits guinea pigs it can affect any animal so it's such an important thing to be doing is checking their bums and it really doesn't take a minute so i hope this has helped you guys and i hope none of your animals have to go through anything like this because it sounds horrendous so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you guys soon bye